and I go to my burning software and I want to do an audio CD okay so usually um, I do a lot more than three little snippets because uh, I don't want to you know waste a whole CD on a minute's worth of music but for this instance I'm gonna just burn these three videos so I'll just drag and drop them over there I've already got a CD in there and uh, got nice two second intervals between them so I'll burn them shouldn't take me very long so now it's done so when I press done the CD will pop out okay so now I have a CD with those three snippets on it in the case of um, in the end I would now proceed to the my studio and start practicing and what I mean by this is I would simply put the CD in on the first track and I press repeat on my CD player and um, I'd play it 10, 15, 20 times in a row. It's only 20 seconds long so that would only take five minutes or so. And basically the brute force approach is that as I, the more I play it the better I'm gonna get and the, the further I go the better it'll get and eventually I'll get to the end of that 20 seconds and I'll have it down perfectly and since the song is not really that difficult it's just something that I've never really studied before I'm pretty confident that I could probably get it right in about 10 minutes so I'll show you that a little later but right now I'm gonna show you the other approach with limbo which I'm not confident that I could play 10 or 15 times and play it perfectly because it's a very bizarre uh, four bars of music which are going to require um, a little bit of study and some diligence on my part and so now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do in order to perfect that so this second part is going to be what I do between when I've got my little isolated mp3 file and when I get to the drums and start playing okay so let's just do a little bit of research okay so the first so the first the first question I have whenever approaching something like that is what are my resources what are available what's available to me well I know for a fact that you know on a work in progress Neil did this song so uh, and I have it on VHS if I really needed to I could rip it to my computer and make a little video out of it for myself and watch it over and over again but let's just try YouTube you know maybe the goofs at UMG have left it up so let's try Limbo Neil okay so oh, we're lucky uh, we got Limbo okay so I'll wait for that to um, okay so here's the whole according to this it's 417 so I'm assuming that's pretty much the whole thing okay so in case you didn't know there's a very easy way of saving um, videos from YouTube and it's a secondary site called SaveTube so what you do is you get the link in your browser you highlight it and then you go to www.savetube okay and then you put the link in the video to save and you say go and then you go down here and you say download okay and then you say save to file and it'll be called video.flv or whatever say okay so it's copying this video.flv to my my C drive okay so this will be on my desktop it's got about 35 seconds left right here it you can see it says video FLV okay so I'll just wait for that to download 
should be done in a few seconds and come back to that all right so now I have this video so let's just make sure that it's what I wanted to save okay so it is so now it's an FLV file which is not really uh, easy to work with in in terms of burning or anything like that or incorporating into something else so uh, if I want I can use this ultra mp4 video converter to convert that to any other format so I'm gonna convert it to an AVI say, and uh, should take maybe another minute or so my computer's kinda old so it takes a little while to crunch things these days so it's almost done it's at 95 percent there you go mission accomplished okay so now if I go to my video AVI now I have it as an AVI so so if I wanted to I could just go into my uh, movie uh, uh, movie software and clip that out and just watch it a hundred times in a row okay that's one way um, but that's kind of a last resort because I like the challenge of of figuring stuff out for myself. So now I'm going to show you another uh, resource I use quite.